So I didn't initially intend on filming anything today, but I came outside this morning. It's such a beautiful day right now, and it's supposed to be like this all week. So what are we at? April 8th, I think, today. And I'm telling you guys, this rhododendron behind me, this Taurus, is blooming beautiful, and it's just starting. Now, it's kind of a sad deal because this rhododendron is one of the earlier blooming rhodes that I have, and most people never even see it because it's still a little early on in the season, and not everybody's out at the garden centers yet, you know, and, you know, they generally tend to see a lot of rhododendrons that bloom around Mother's Day, which we're still a month off from. But this one every year just wakes up my garden and surprises me to no end. And I want to show it to you guys right now because I just can't contain my excitement. Look at this, guys. Rhododendron Taurus. This is actually a new camera. I, I hope this is picking up all the color in the way that it really should be. You should be here in person. I wish you could be. Someday this is all going to be open to the public. But right now I'm still trying to figure all that out. Anyway... In the meantime, just enjoy it through the camera. This is such a beautiful, spectacular sight. You just won't see blooms like you see on these rhododendrons. And this one in particular, this rhododendron Taurus, T-A-U-R-U-S, I believe. Anyway, it's a beautiful rhododendron and people just don't see this one that much because it blooms so early. But every year, man, it never ceases to amaze me. Big, beautiful leaves. It grows huge. You can see this like tree-like structure there. And just the most awesome blooms. Let's get some close-ups. Look at that. Look at that flower bud. So we go, we start out like this here. And it just starts wanting to open up. Let me get in closer here. You guys are gonna. I mean, I just I don't know about you, but I love looking at this stuff. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? absolutely beautiful i love them when they're just starting to open up and then we've got this guy just opening up a little bit more and they just open into this spectacular bloom and these things are tough these blooms are hardy and especially this early on they you know it's still cool outside so they hang on to their blooms for a longer period of time than you know a lot of summertime flowering plants because it's not so hot yet but Gosh, and this is just starting. You can see all the buds. Just Some of them are opened all the way, and some of them are just still starting. So this is going to go on for a few weeks like this in this one particular plant. Now, the other roadies aren't blooming here, but they will. As the season goes on, you'll see all these blooming more. But isn't that just spectacular? So here's another little area of my property, and I planted, I think, four of these Taurus rhododendron all in here. These are all just babies of that other parent plant over there, and they all just are doing just equally as well. They came out a little bit earlier because more sun hits this area. They just warm up a little sooner, but just a beautiful, beautiful bloom. As long as we're on this little journey, I might as well show you what's blooming. Not a whole lot yet, but this is rhod rhododendron mundi or mundiae. I can't ever pronounce it right, but it's an earlier bloom in rhodi. It's got these beautiful pink flowers. It always just kind of lights up over in the landscape because nothing else is blooming. You can see all my just whole beds of rhododendrons, and this is the only one lit up right now, but it's always a nice warm welcome into spring. Here's a little species rhododendron, and the bloom isn't the most spectacular. It's just starting to open there. But the, the plant's leaf growth and color is what's so spectacular about this one. So the new growth actually comes out a bronze color, like a copper color almost. And it, as it grows and opens up, the leaves turn into this silvery kind of color. In the summertime, with the new growth, it's a really beautiful plant. This is a species rhododendron. It's called Pachy, Pachysanthum. It's a little bit tougher to come by, but if you can find one, grab it up quick. Over here, we've got all my April glows. I, I made a whole little hedge of April glows and they just light up here in the early springtime. Really pretty pink color. And you know it's it's just kind of a basic pink but just the fact that there's so many of them on those flat on those uh, plants it just really lights up this corner. So I'm starting to find more and more of these opening up as I'm walking around but here's honey butter. This is a really nice rhododendron. It's kind of an orangey peachy kind of color stands out in the landscape. Really looks pretty. You can see the blooms start out kind of uh, orange peachy color and they open up into more of a yellowish kind of peach. Real pretty rhododendron. 
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little sneak peek of what's to come. All the blooms are gonna start opening up soon. I'm gonna be getting pictures and posting them to the Kincaid's nursery site, the Facebook page that we have. If you guys wanna get onto that and see all the different blooms that we got going on, but I'll make videos of this for YouTube, but I love this time of year, man. This is just, this is what it's all about for me. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna follow along and see where this garden goes this spring. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.